Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Math. We offer it here in Mount Vernon School District to fifth graders, and it's an opportunity for them to learn more about STEM subjects, but also to just have a good time. So it's an opportunity for them to really experience a lot of different STEM activities and subjects and content in order for them to better engage with those subjects. The Mount Vernon School District essentially applied for a grant through AmeriCorps and got approved for three years of this program. So the Mount Vernon School District basically decided that they wanted to focus on STEM education and implementing it at a young age, so fifth grade, which is when they first take the science portion of the state assessment. So this program is really supposed to target next generation science standards that fifth graders learn in class and just incorporate some more of that knowledge so that they can have additional tools when they take their assessment later in the year. My favorite part about STEM camp is when I see a kid's face light up uh, because they did something that they think is cool and they learned um, uh, something new. And a good example is um, I ran into a parent uh, outside of school and uh, they told me how much their child enjoyed STEM camp and that, that was really satisfying. I feel like the coolest thing about STEM camp is I get to come here every day after work and just play. I think that it's a great time for the kids, but it's a great time for us too. We're all here to have a good time and to kind of help them experience the fact that STEM subjects can be really fun. They don't have to be kind of all about, you know, taking down all of your that information and taking a bunch of notes or or the complicated side of it. It can be about the interaction side of it and about just experiencing life and all of the things that our planet and our solar system and our universe can do and how those things work together. Our main goal is to um, get students excited about science. And I, um, I've seen that students are becoming more interested in the different fields of science and engineering. They ask me a lot of questions, questions that sometimes I don't even know, but you know, that's, that's the best part, learning. A kid in class um, asked me what I did in my engineering career, and he, I told him, and he wanted me to bring in some machines that I had invented or designed, and so I did. I brought in a bicycle brake that I had made, and, uh, and he really liked it, and he was really curious about engineering and the engineering process. The most significant thing for me about STEM camp, the reason we're all here and the reason we do this, is that it's clear that, especially at younger ages, the kids in our district just aren't engaging with these subjects. They don't really know how to connect to what all of those complicated terms can mean and why they're important. And so to help them see the world through a more scientific lens, opens up so many opportunities for them in the future to just do whatever it is they want to do. Maybe they come to STEM camp for the robotics or they come just to make oobleck and they come to just make a big mess and maybe they realize that I really like building bridges and towers and maybe I want to be an engineer in the future. If they're never exposed to those kinds of things, they don't know. So giving them another outlet for them to experience what science can really be, it just opens up the whole world to them, and I think that that's very valuable. It actually is the thing that makes me actually smile a lot sometimes. I don't smile that much. I might look like I'm not smiling, but actually I'm smiling in my heart right now. I came to STEM camp because I knew it would help me with science and engineering so I could be able to work harder and able to do my best. I just wanted to do something that's out of my boundaries because I'm usually just a stay home girl and just do art. So I think science is a really good thing for me to do. Science is like my favorite thing to do in school. Um, I said, why not? <laughs> because this is my first opportunity to join STEM camp. I want to learn some math. 
some engineering, some science, technology. It seemed fun because I like science and technology. It's the first after school club that I've been to and I like science. I really like science so I wanted to see what STEM camp had to get for me. I heard there's an engineering contest and I love engineering and stuff. I thought it would be cool to learn more things that I didn't know, like how to average, um, more science, because I don't, I haven't learned a lot about science. I love to build and do different things with um, math and making things up with uh, tools. How like circuits work and stuff like that. And also, I can program like a Sphero to do things. I can make oobleck bouncy balls. I've also learned about the sun, gravity and stuff. Yeah, and it's only been two weeks into STEM camp and I've learned a lot of stuff. My favorite station is the Sphero robots. So I like doing the challenges in Sphero and watching the videos. We got to like move them around and do challenges with them. It was fun controlling them. And it was like a little, like a little buddy that you just followed whatever you'd say. The electric circuits, because they're cool to work with and you get to s um, see things fly and um, you get to hear different sounds it can make with the um, circuit things. I didn't know when we first started how like, how you can make a, like a light go on or like a fan work, but like I learned that when we did the snap circuits. The wires in it, you, you can hear sound from a mini ra radio. I can make electricity by myself, like by following a few instructions, because I thought electricity you had to do like super complicated things, but you just had to make a full circuit and that was pretty cool. The oobleck is like, when you punch it, it's like hard, but like when you put your hands softly into it, it's like, liquid. It's hard to make but it's also um, it's also cool to look at. When you squeeze it, it comes solid and when um, no pressure, there's liquid. Learning about the space because you get to learn different um, stars that you don't know. The sun is not the biggest star and it's not the hottest, but that there are bigger and hotter stars that just are farther away. So the sun seems the biggest. That's a hard question because I really like doing the challenges. My favorite challenge is probably making towers. And we see who had the tallest uh, tower and we, our, my group had the smallest tower. It was when we were doing the, um, the, um, the soldiers launching. It was hard. But either way, we still managed to get at least a far away. It's a really good opportunity for people to learn how to engineer about science. Uh, the teachers are very nice and they care about your ideas, so it's easy to share what you think. So they can have fun and learn new stuff that they haven't learned and have new friends. I think that like it's a really good opportunity and like if, if you like science and all that and hey, having fun, you should do it. Seeing kids really have a good time with science and engineering and concepts that I didn't have a good time with when I was a kid. I think it really gives me hope for the future that, um, that more kids uh, will be interested in pursuing these careers um, when they're my age um, and that they can do it sooner. Um, really, I think um, I would be further along in my career if I had focused on science as, um, as a topic when I initially went into college, um, instead of wasting time in my undergrad years figuring out what I wanted to do. Um, so uh, I really enjoy getting to see kids have a good time with these topics.